grow the farm up. We are out planting into our regenerative cover crop program. A lot of people out there talking about soil health. A lot of talking about soil health. Well, I've got something that I think will speak for itself. Let's take a look here. Now, I want to show you. This is a Ward Laboratories soil health analysis. I'm just trying to cover up my address so I don't dox everything. I want to show you something here. Organic matter. 5.6%. The rest of it, we can go over another time how to read a Ward Labs soil health assessment. You can see taken from 0 to 8 inches. You can see it's taken the 9th. This sample was pulled this, the 8th of uh, April of this year, about a little over a month ago. Have a look around. planter cuts right through that cover crop. You can see it. Puts the seed right in two inches deep where you want it. Five point six percent organic matter. The only thing I can add to that, what I've learned that you cannot make leaps in organic matter in your soil by tilling surface residue in. Sure, you can gain a fourth a point every three years. Sure, corn on corn helps. The only way you're gonna get to these levels and get your organic matter above four and into the fives, I've got like a 4.8 to 5.2 farm average. The only way I've been able to get there is by letting these cover crop roots grow, you know, 40, 50 inches deep and then terminate and then plant a cash crop in it and hope that those roots go 50, 60 inches deep and then put a cover crop in behind the cash crop and hope that those roots go 60, 70 inches deep and so on and so forth. And once you get the system working, it truly is regenerative. Point six. Just to be fair, here's a test from my dry land corner that I haven't had in cover crops every year, about every other year. There's a 3.4. And you see the excess lime rating low. Look at the pH, 7.3. Let's get back to the, the good one, the irrigated one, I guess we could say. pH of 7.4. Farming will never be easy, but once you get your pHs around and above 7 and your organic matter above a 4, 4.5, especially into the 5s, it sure becomes very forgiving. Videos of the roller crimper are coming. We're matting this down behind the planter right as the corn emerges and we're able to lock in all of this pivot applied moisture. We're in an extreme drought west of the Missouri River. Pivots running all around me. Every pivot you can see is running and it's blowing 40 miles an hour and that sun beats down on that bare soil and just dries out the top two inches in this area. Top three inches, top four inches. Now we'll be able to lay this biomass on the ground. Not only will it help with weed control, but it will also help retain moisture. So it's 50 mile an hour windy, hot, sunny days like today. Let's take a look out. 90 degrees. I'd say things are growing. Soil health, anyway. A lot of talk about soil health. Our 
believe this video here sort of speaks for itself. Probably three and a half feet tall. Root structure probably three and a half, four feet, five feet deep. Thanks for the shout out in your last video, John Stevens. Appreciate it. Make sure you go check out John Stevens Maple Grove Farms. He's doing some remarkable things in Minnesota. Grow the farm up.